How far can you bot in old school RuneScape? That's something I set out to answer in this new installment of Botting to Max. In this series, I'll be training skills to the max level, gold farm, slay bosses, and of course, achieve the max cape. The first thing I did on the account was questing. I completed Cook's Assistant and Rune Mysteries using Stealth Quester Iron Man mode. What this means is that the script gathers materials itself instead of buying them through the Grand Exchange, and in my personal experience, this gets you banned less. So I really don't mind the extra time it takes for the supported quests. This is where things start going relatively fast, so hang on for a minute. I start by transferring 2 mil for skilling supplies, I then start out by doing fishing. Fishing is a great skill, it's cheap to train, decently fast, and helps reducing ban rate a lot. As you can see here, I train to level 70, which is pretty appropriate for now. Next I do cooking, another very fast skill, took me less than 6 hours to get it to level 70 also. I use Botting Hub Progressive Firemaker and train my firemaking to level 50. 50 firemaking is the requirement for winter time, which I plan on doing later. You can also see my bot achieved 70 cooking in this clip. To finally put this skilling frenzy to bed, I ended with a flat 50 crafting. All of this was done with Botting Hub's account builder script. I recommend it very highly. As you can see, it even sold back leftover items to the Grand Exchange. To take a break from the repetitive skilling, I do an additional two quests. Those being Thoric's quest, followed up by the Knight's Sword. Both of these quests serve a greater purpose by either being precursors to future quests or just giving great XP. The last skill I want before hopping into membership is woodcutting. This is of course done with Botting Hub Account Builder. The script automatically purchases all the axes and progresses from each level of tree. I start out at normal trees, and upon hitting level 15, move on to oaks. Oaks is somewhat the same story, just chop there until level 30 and move to willows. The script will stay at willows until my desired level of 70, as it's the fastest XP in free to play. Here is a pretty long proggy by the way. It ended up taking 35 hours in total to get to 70 woodcutting, and I did it all in one sitting with breaks. This is because I have a huge deal of trust for the script and I don't mind running it for long periods of time. Apparently I did mining as well. This is the only clip I have from it, but I got to level 41. At 400 total level, I think it's appropriate to move into members. The first thing I'll be doing in pay to play should not come as a surprise. It's the most basic of 99s, fire making through the winter tot. For this, I'll be using SARS winter tot script. It has the option to obtain the clue hunter outfit for me, so I don't have to do any work. On the first day, I got 1 million firemaking XP, putting me at 75 firemaking. I'm gonna be going over this entire grind in a short period of time because it's boring to watch. I don't understand how legitimate players do this day in and day out. Seems like a massive waste of time to me. That is why you should try botting. Check out Botting Hub through the link in the description or use code BLOM10 for 10% off any purchase. With that being said, here's 80 firemaking. 90 firemaking is in the bag. As you can see, the runtime is pretty long. I plan on doing this entire thing in one proggy, so keep an eye on the runtime. 48 hours in and we're almost at 94 fire making. I missed the halfway point of 92 because I was away celebrating Christmas with my family. Yet another reason to start botting. I'm getting a 99 while celebrating Christmas. 94? 95? It is with a heavy heart that I must deliver the news. After almost 58 hours at Winter Todd, always bot crashed. RIP Proggy, but I'm still not banned. And here is the climax of this grind. By my own hand, I shall obtain 99 fire making. Finally, that grind is over and I can move on to more interesting things. Never mind, I have to open all these fucking crates. Total price check was like 4 mil or something, no unique drops, not even a tome, nothing to write home about. Did I mention I have a discord server? Don't forget to join it!
By the time this video gets uploaded, I'll be hosting a giveaway consisting of three bonds. The giveaway will be active for five days to give everyone time to join. Good luck! Never forget to buy the skill cape. Look at that animation. It's so boring. I can't wait to max another skill. Next video, perhaps? Next up, I use Sarakuda script to complete the Varrock Museum quest. This shoots me all the way to 9 Slayer as well as 9 Hunter. I'm not going to be doing these skills in this video, but there's a high chance I'll do it in the next one. Before ending this video, I want to get some agility levels. Agility is, and will always be, useful. So while I was asleep, I bought it to level 40. Before training on the Canifus rooftop, I need to have completed Priest in Peril. Priest in Peril has a section where you have to fight a guard dog and a monk, so I'll be getting my prayer up to unlock Protect from Melee and complete the Waterfall quest. The Waterfall quest gives me the combat stats I need to complete Priest in Peril, but I was going to the gym and I didn't want to set up the quest, so I just started some simple thieving training instead. I did this using Botting Hub Progressive Master Farmer script and got to level 25. Now I can finally start Priest in Peril. Now I can finally start training my defense stat and then complete Priest in Peril. Unlocking the Cannabis Rooftop course and finish off 50 Agility. I'm going to end agility at level 56. Why 56? Because Sar recently released his Guardians of the Rift script, which I am very excited to use, and 56 is the required level to use an important shortcut. I was looking at my skills and noticed that far too many of them were level 1, so I decided to get a few Herblore levels. To train Herblore, you need the Druidic Ritual quest, so I just quickly bonded it with Stealth Quester and used the account builder to level it. I stopped at level 25 and noticed that I was only a few levels short of 750 total. What better way to end this video than with a milestone like that, so I bought it 6 quick runecrafting levels. Thank you so so much for watching this video. The recent support on my channel has been incredible far more than what I imagined. Don't forget to join my Discord and join my bond giveaway, link in description, and check out Botting Hub. Bye.